Well, I finished uh, test fitting the upper uh, Gen 2 control arms. It says Gen 2 in there. And I've put the uh, tall ball joint in. Um, actually, I need to put it in through the top instead of up through the bottom. Um, and I took the lower uh, control arms off. Um, I want to get a wire brush and clean that up a little bit. But uh, I sandblasted, or actually had a shop sandblast because I don't have a sandblaster. These are the original lower control arms. They look uh, incredible now. Had the uh, AFCO ball jo joints uh, pushed in, and the AFCO, uh, I guess those are Del Ren bushings. Um, and, you know, due to the, over the years, where the bushing uh, presses in, I guess it either stretched a little bit or the tolerance just wasn't quite close enough. So you can see where we tack welded. Um, tack welded the bushings in place uh, just to keep them keep them tied in there. Um, and those are the original uh, bolts for the shocks. Everything cleaned up really nice. They're just painted flat black. And uh, they look brand new. I mean, it's hard to believe that's 40 years old. So, uh, you know, since the lower control arms don't alter the geometry at all, if you go with an aftermarket control arm, I'm just going to put these back in there and uh, gonna going to clean up the uh, mounting position for them and uh, then go ahead and put them back in the car.